Captain! The wounded warrior Vox. I, I can't move. Garter had no legs below his mid thighs. Khan couldn't begin to guess where they were in this sea of mangled corpses, and his chest was a ruin of violated breastbone and ceramite. Bide, he said, lowering the warrior's helm. Kargos will come. The warrior gripped Khan's collar with weak fingers. The nails are falling even now. Oh. He coughed something wet into his helm. How can that be? I'm dying, and they still sing. What do they want from me? Bide, Khan said again, though he knew it was useless. Just give me the peace. The warrior sank back to the ground. Seventy years of serving the butcher and his nails is long enough. Khan wished he'd not heard those words. Discomfort danced its tingling way down his backbone. You served well, Gurta. Khan disengaged the seals at the warrior's throat, lifting the helm clear. There wasn't much left of the sergeant's face. Something must have reflected in Khan's expression, for Garton made his devastated face into something like a grin. <laughs> that, that bad? <laughs> he asked. His gurgling laughter became another cough. Khan's reply was solemn obedience. He held the gladius above Garter's left eye, its point a finger's breadth above the dilated pupil. In the last words, I pierce on Ingram's grave when he finally lies dead. Khan wished he'd not heard those words either. He rammed the blade down with the sound of dry twigs breaking beneath a boot and the faintest clink, the point striking the stone under Garter's head. 